Next is accumulated depreciation. So now that is something that we'll track on the sub ledgers again, but this is the beginning balance. I'm gonna go over here. This is this is how much we've, we've decreased the asset by to allocate the expense to the period uh, applicable. Let's see if they have one. It should be also a fixed asset account. So it doesn't look like they have one called uh, accumulated depreciation. So I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna say, let's just add a new one, new. And this is the, notice the method I'm using. If they have an account that's close, I'm gonna use it. If they don't, then then I'm gonna make, that's when I'm gonna make my own account, right? And so I'm gonna say, this is gonna be saved under, and they've changed, they've changed this kind of layout up a little bit. So you might not be, it takes a little bit to get used to. Hopefully it'll be a kind of an easier layout. It's kind of nice. It's gonna be an asset type of account. So that's kind of a generic overarching balance sheet account. And then it gives you basically uh, your drop downs. Now, this is a category of, as of, of asset, the fixed assets. That's kind of like an account uh, type that we're gonna have here. And if you wanted to make a sub account, then you can select you know, an actual account that it would be a sub account of. So we're gonna pick the fixed asset. So it's gonna go under a fixed asset, which I would call the account type. The tax line, I'm not overly concerned with, but I'm just gonna call it uh, accumulated depreciation. I'm not concerned with the same reason I, I talked about before, because oftentimes we're just gonna generate the financial statements to make the tax return. If you can export it directly to a software, that would be great. I haven't seen it work perfectly uh, uh, or better than just entering it into the software thus far. So I might test it out again though, because I'm always curious to see if they've improved it. And so I'm gonna say account name is gonna be accumulated depreciation. I'm not gonna put any description. It's not adding a lot of value in my opinion to have a, a description there. So I'm gonna keep that as is. And then we're gonna say the start date. I'm gonna add the other on the date. And we're gonna put this to, to the end of last year. Now this is where the tricky part is because accumulated depreciation is a contra asset account, meaning it's like a negative asset. So I would say it goes up, it's gonna be an increase. So I would think it would be a positive, but I think they're categorizing it as an asset. So it's actually kind of like a negative asset. And this is why debits and credits are actually better than a plus and minus kind of system. It gets kind of weird, wonky with the plus and minus, but I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna bet that they're gonna record it with a negative 7,500 which will which will make it a positive amount in accumulated depreciation because accumulated depreciation is a contra asset if that makes sense if it goes the wrong way i'll have to go back in here and adjust it or fix it in some sh way shape or form so there's there it is so now you can see where it, it gives you a little image on the balance sheet on where it's going to populate so this is this is pretty neat that they give you this little preview um it's kind of a kind of a new a newer type of thing here. So I'm gonna save it and then we'll check it out. So if I go to the balance sheet and run it again, now we've got under the fixed assets, you can, you can, oh, it put it on there. See, I got it wrong. It put it on there as a positive. So, so I think that, I think it used to be that way. So now you increase it uh, with a with a positive instead of a negative. So that's why it gets a little tricky. I can fix it this way. I can go into it and then it, it entered it with a journal entry. So the journal entry is actually more specific. If I go into the journal entry, I'm just gonna flip it now. So I got it backwards. I'm gonna say this is, I'm gonna change it by making this a credit and this a debit. Okay, and then I'm gonna save it and say yes. And boom, so there it should be the right, going the right way, so there it is. And so now I'm gonna go back, and so there it is. So then these two should net out to a negative. So this is the uh, the dollar amount, the cost, and this is what we decreased it by. We'll get into more about fixed assets in a future presentation, 